On today's episode of Amanda and Felix Eats, we'll be taking you guys along with us to a brand new sushi restaurant said to be raising the sushi bar. It literally just melts in your mouth. What more could you ask for? Land and sea. Mm -mm -mm. And we're super excited to be previewing this brand new spot and we're taking you guys along with us. So let's get going. What's going on Foodie Ohana? Welcome back to the channel. For today's video, we've been invited to an awesome brand new sushi restaurant. And we're super excited to be previewing this spot. It's just opened recently. It's still in its soft opening, but they have some awesome sushi and very aesthetic as well. So we're super excited to be taking you guys along. All right, we're almost there guys. Heading on down to enjoy some awesome sushi and bumping music apparently. <laughs> it's a really busy area of Kapiolani, so we're heading there now. See you when we're at the restaurant. All right, it looks like we're here already, guys. So they're located on the ground floor of the Kapiolani Business Center next or, to 24-Hour Fitness. Yeah, or the spot where they have Hawaiian Brian's and 24-Hour Fitness. Yes, as you locals would know. And we just got here, so let's go and check in. Let's go. Alright guys, so we are here at Kanoya's Sushi Grill and Bar, you guys. They are a brand new sushi restaurant here in Honolulu, right off Kapiolani Boulevard. Super prime location. If you guys remember back in the day, this was Odorico, I believe. Yes, yes. Odorico, no more Rico. <laughs> it is now Kanoya, and guys, they're a locally owned and run business, serving up some fresh, awesome sushi. Head yes. chef many years of experience in Japan. We're excited, can't wait for the food to come out. So we're gonna be previewing a bunch of stuff on the menu, so we're super, super duper excited. And we came hungry, so we can't wait for the food to come out and we'll show you everything we get. Oh my goodness, you guys, everything sounds amazing and definitely to the palate of a local like us. And things that I've noticed so far that I really like is that they have sets or like teishoku style type of meals and entrees. They have fried things, they have udon, they have steak, like teriyaki stuff, katsu stuff, and the sets do come with miso soup and green salad. And guys, this place has something for everyone. There's fish, there's even vegetarian, there's even no raw ingredient section of the menu. So super cool. Yeah, I'm super excited for the food to come out. Thank you so much. Thank you. Alright guys, so some of the starters already came out and I am very, very excited. And I will say I really love the decor here. It's kind of like a feudal Japan mixed with modern Japan. It's really interesting, very modern, upbeat vibes. But there's some artwork here that kind of gives it that vintage Japanese feel. Very, very cool. We ordered a bunch of starters to start off. And the first one on the menu that really caught my eye were these things called lady fingers. And no, they're not an Italian dessert. Come on now. These are a sushi innovation. I mean, Come on guys, look at this. Look how pretty these things are. Oh my goodness. So it's basically crab meat wrapped in seared salmon sashimi topped with masago and some sauce. And on top of a single shiso leaf. Gorgeous. Now come to daddy. Oh man. It literally just melts in your mouth. Definitely, definitely must order this. Try this out. So soft, buttery, tender, melts in your mouth. Nice creaminess, fattiness from the salmon. And the crab meat is so succulent sweet to cut all the goodness with a nice fresh shiso leaf. Mm. And for you folks that don't eat raw fish, we got their Furikake Chicken. UK, our server, shout out to you if you're watching. Recommended this, said what is one of his favorite dishes. It's like their take on chicken karage, but it's lightly fried, very simple, dusted with furikake and dressed with mayo. Mm. Oh, 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 I scared myself. Oh wow, I love, love that it's not heavily battered and fried. Nice sweetness of the furikake, creaminess of the mayo rounds it all up perfectly. I think on the menu it said it's like a coconut cream or something on top. 
Oh, condensed it's not coconut milk. milk. Correction for you, Hana. It's drizzed with coconut condensed milk. That's very interesting. I was wondering what that sweet note was. I thought it was the fruity kaki, but I guess it's that dressing on top. Is it very coconutty or no? No, you don't really taste the coconut at all. It's my turn now to try the starters that I ordered. And this here is the creamy salmon bite. It's cream cheese and salmon stuffed in shiso leaf, battered and deep fried, topped with spicy mayo and some unagi sauce or eel sauce. Ooh, deep fried goodness. I even see like on the inside, you can even see the cream cheese and the salmon. You can even see the shiso, the bright green leaf there. So cheers guys. Mm. Salmon, creamy, a little herbiness from the shiso leaf. The sauce on top gives it a nice little savoriness, a little kick. If you guys are fans of like tempura, but also fans of cream cheese salmon together, this will hit the spot. Where's all my Philly roll peeps? Comment down below. But also, of course, since we are at a Japanese restaurant, we had to order one of our favorite dishes, which is misoyaki butterfish. If you guys know, misoyaki butterfish is like a staple in Japanese cuisine. The fish is marinated. Oh, wow. This is like the star of the show. Oh, all right, do the honors. Holy cow! Thank you! Look at this! Okay, we had to pause my review for this. Wow. Okay, guys, I got so distracted by the boat, but I'm gonna try the misoyaki butterfish. Cheers. Mm. Oh my goodness, it is melt in your mouth. If you guys are fans of misoyaki butterfish, get this. You can even get it in a, a teishoku form if you like, or a set. Oh my goodness. Mm. And guys, did we ever mention the service here is really awesome? <laughs> Anyways guys, we are gonna get into that boat because we got it, we got it. Fruity Ohana, look what has just arrived on Oahu shores. This is the Kanoya Love Boat. Is it the love boat? What is it? Adventure boat, right? This is the Kanoya adventure boat for two. And guys, it's massive. It's beautiful. Look at the presentation. Normally they would have like smoke coming out. Like it looks like it's just arriving through the fog, thick fogs of Japan or something, but they were out of dry ice. Can't complain here. The presentation is still beautiful nonetheless. The Kanoya adventure boat for two comes with 10 pieces of nigiri, 12 pieces of sashimi sliced fish without the rice and of course a lover's roll. We opted to substitute the lover's roll for Amanda's favorite, a spider roll, which she'll be trying. But here they and, call it a Spider-Man roll. Oh, here <laughs> they call it a Spider-Man roll. I could not contain myself and I was laughing earlier. Let's dive in or should we say let's roll in this baby. That was pretty cringe. Guys, since it's just me and Amanda on this gondola adventure here today, we only ordered the one for two, but they do have different sizes. You can order the boat for three, for four. I'm gonna try the ahi because I'm a simple guy. I like my things classic, simple. Look how beautiful the coloring on the fish is. Cheers. Mm, melt in your mouth, man. Oh gosh. I will say the rice is a little under seasoned. It's not very vinegary as we're used to for sushi rice. The fish, definitely the fish is very fresh. The boat does come with two side salads. We don't really need to get into this. Two ice cream at the end for dessert and miso soup. Come on guys, we're here for the fish, right? Oh, look how beautiful this thing is. Mm. I swear, hamachi has gotta be one of my favorite slices of fish. If you guys haven't tried hamachi before, which is yellowtail, do yourself a favor. Mm. So fresh, so, so, so fresh. Oh, and of course, um, because it is soft opening, it's BYOB, guys, until further notice. Follow their Instagram for updates. And today is our Pauhana, so cheers. This roll is my favorite roll. It is the Spider-Man roll, so I'm gonna try this one first. And guys, look at that. There is a spider roll in there as well. It's called um, soft shell crab. You said there's a spider in here. Oh. <laughs> There's soft shell crab in here and topped with spicy ahi. Mm, tons of flavor. There's even unagi on top too. And then next, I want to try the madai. I'm not sure what fish that is, but it looks really, really pretty. Like, if you look it's at seared. the cut of this, it's like seared on the top, I think. Very ever so slightly. Cheers, guys. It has like a little bit of a crunch to it. I'm not really sure why, but I love the torchness of it. And the fish size is pretty big. The netta, or the part that comes off of the rice, is 
pretty decently sized. It's so aesthetic as well. And if you guys are not people that like a ton of rice, this is perfect because it even comes with sashimi. I'm gonna try some hamachi sashimi. I'm going in. A little bit of soy sauce. Cheers. Mm. Super duper fresh, you guys. I am just loving this spot so far. An awesome thing too is that it's still pretty new, so you guys can definitely try it out. Let us know. And of course, you guys, it is not a sushi set without the miso soup. So I'm gonna try it. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. Oh, it's a white miso. Mm. Definitely a great way to reset the palate. It's nice and warming. There's some tofu and some seaweed in here, green onions. And guys, there's even more food to come, so stay tuned. You said you like this one? I think so far, Furihana, my favorite are these Japanese ladies' fingers. Oh, really? Delicious. Yeah. I love, love, love this one. All right, Fudu Ohana. So food reinforcements have arrived. And guys, this is from the Meat Calvary. And come on now. What's better than a sizzling platter of meat? Better yet, what's better than a sizzling platter of teriyaki steak cooked to perfection? It looks like it's cooked a little on the rarer side, but as you guys saw it coming out, it was nice and sizzling. We did allow it some time to cook a little bit more, so... It is a nice, perfect, medium, rare right now. Ooh, and you know what goes good with saucy, sumptuous steak like this? A bowl of rice, of course. So, I'm gonna be trying some of this. Ooh, look, they even have some seared caramelized onions on here. It smells amazing so far. Ooh, okay. Oh, so tender. Mm. If you guys are a big fan of steak and onions, this is it right here. Steak and onions on a platter. A little hint of sweetness in the teriyaki sauce. Perfect. What more could you ask for? Land and sea. I'm more of a land guy myself, so... Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna soak some of the sauce and introduce it to the rice. Oh, man. I'm a happy, happy fat kid. This is all I could ask for. All I ever dreamed of. Meat and rice. I'm a simple guy. <laughs> this is all it took to make me happy. Mm. <laughs> I'm done. This is all I need. I should have just ordered this to begin with. Call it a night. Felix has been working out more, so he needs his steak protein. <laughs> Some of you eagle eye viewers have realized it. Oh. oh gosh. So I got the Kanoya roll, which is this one right here. It's tempura lobster with avocado topped with lobster salad, crunchy garlic topped with spicy mayo. I'm super excited to try this one out. Oh my goodness, guys, do you see that? Even has lobster on there, deep fried lobster. Look at that crunchy spice on the top. It looks like the fly by Jing or crunchy garlic sauce. I'm not sure what it's called. Going for it, cheers. Mm. That was a really big bite. <laughs> it is very crunchy. You would think that this is the crunchy roll, but it's not. The tempura flavor is not super strong. It's actually on the lighter side, but you definitely get the hit from the spicy mayo and the crunchy garlic. I do wish that the lobster flavor was a little stronger. It's kind of overpowered, right? But if you're a spicy lover, you definitely love that one. Also guys, I forgot to mention, a lot of the things we ordered today are recommended top favorites here at Kanoya. It's indicated by the gold medal symbol next to the item menu. So these are heavy hitters, guys. The next roll we wanna try, something I personally ordered. Ooh, can you guys see it though? This is the, oh, this is the dropped roll because I just dropped it. This is the crispy unagi roll. And guys, what is unagi Felix, you ask? Unagi is freshwater eel, one of my favorites. So it's basically lightly tempura battered unagi top with their unagi sauce and salmon sashimi with cream cheese oh my goodness so this is like an elevated philly roll do you guys see the unagi is just lightly battered ever so lightly battered mm. oh oh wow 
I will say I think this is my favorite roll of the night. Mm. Do yourselves a favor, get the crispy unagi roll, get the teriyaki steak, get the boat, and forget about it, okay? Just do yourselves a favor. Crispy salmon bite. Oh, the lady fingers. The lady fingers are good. This was our least favorite, if anything. You guys might like it, like Amanda said. It just tastes overpowered by the spicy sauce on top. Mm. It's a little overpowered. And now it's underpowered because it's on the table. <laughs> it lost all its energy. I'm still gonna eat it. I don't waste food. <clears throat> Anyways, guys, yeah, highly recommend this spot. We didn't talk about parking, but parking is gonna be um, the ramp that's connected to Hawaiian Brian's and 24 Hour Fitness. As always, we leave the links down in the description below. Make sure you check the description down there, that way you can check out the business. Yeah, we're gonna be waiting for our dessert to come out that came with the boat. All right, Foodie Ohana, we have our dessert segment. And I love that this place even comes with ice cream. They ran out of vanilla and matcha, but we got coffee and chocolate. Look at that, even like a dollop of whipped cream. Guess who got what? I mean, you can kind of see what I got. I got chocolate because I'm I a thought simple you got man. Coffee. No, this, that's coffee. Oh, we switch. I want chocolate. What? <laughs> Usually you like the coffee. I did? Kid, you always get coffee. Do you coffee. want chocolate or coffee? I don't care. I thought you wanted coffee. No, my protein is all chocolate. I love chocolate. Every time we get ice cream, he always gets coffee. No, I get Rocky Road. Mm. Mm. I don't know, man. To be honest, Seattle and Vancouver ice cream and creameries ruined it for me. This does hit a childhood nostalgia spot. Agree. I mean, it's just nostalgic. And definitely, if you have kids, they will love this, for sure. Yeah, yeah, definitely, for sure. I love that if you get a set, it comes with everything. It's like the complete meal at Zippy's. Yeah, but Japanese style. So it's a Jippy. <laughs> Japanese Zippy's a Jippy. Alright, Furi Ohana, that about wraps up today's episode at Kanoya Sushi Bar and Grill. Mm -mm -mm, awesome rolls, teriyaki steak, guys, you name it. And just to clarify about the parking, what is the parking? Two hours for three dollars. And of course, special shout outs and thank you again to the staff here at Kanoya. Very awesome service. And of course, shout out to the subscribers we met. Awesome meeting you guys. As always, we leave the links down in the description below. We really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. It really helps us out with the algorithm. And if you have not, join our Foodie Ohana by clicking that subscribe button down below. And we will see you guys on the next video. All right, Foodie Ohana, until the next one. Get your sushi boats, get that teriyaki steak, bowl of rice, mm -mm -mm. explore your inner food, peace out. Hi guys. Why is it backwards? Oh, it looks fine to me. Like the sushi and, and a lot courses, not courses, teishoku? Well, how sets. do you, sets. Oh, yeah. And the great. What, there's some. And guys, this place has something for everything. What? These. These are a sushi. These are a sushi. Look what have Foodie Ohana. Look what has just arrived on Kapiolani Boulevard. Uh, what? Foodie Ohana. Look what has just arrived at Screaming Kid. And why is this in my face? Okay, so. <laughs> Kind of fell down, but look at that. There's even like, uh, what's it called in there? Oh, you can't even see it. Sorry. Get. What else? No. We're at Kanoya. Tough crowd tonight. Who arrived? <laughs> Why did I do that? <laughs> the lighting got weird now. Or is it me? No, it's fine. Oh. Oh. So full. 
two dollars for three hours three hours for two dollars three hours for two dollars three dollars for two hours three dollars for two hours <laughs> i'm getting confused anyway three dollars for two hours